Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at something rather different for a change. It's a small base, but it's not quite a base, it's a house for you to live in. So for today we are looking at the modern house V2, which is this lovely and luxurious thing right here. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, this house is 642 large blocks. It uses the decorative block DLC pack number one and the decorative DLC block pack number two. So let's start by having a little look around the outside. I won't go too far on the outside because a lot of it is going to be on the interior and there will be a lot of overlapping as we go outside onto the little decks and the second floor. So at the very front here, we've got our DLC stairs, which will take us all the way up to here which will be our main entrance into our house. We have ourselves a garage which can fit a fairly small land vehicle in. So if you wanted to go out and do some trading with the nearest trading post, or perhaps go off and get a bit of resources, maybe some ice, make sure you have plenty of hydrogen and oxygen in your bottles, then you can do so and store it in here. It's got hanger doors on it, which can be open and closed with the press of the button, which you can see over there and a connector to connect yourself up. Now this house does feature some assemblies and refineries, it's nothing too much, it's the basics of what you'll need just to survive in Space Engineers. Coming across around here we've got ourselves a little deck which uses the planters and the corner chairs for you to have a lovely little maybe barbecue if you were to set one up. As we move around we can see our DLC block windows and then we have this thing right here. So we've got a ladder which comes from the ground all the way up to the top of this house which is how we're going to access the wind turbine on top and also the other blocks if you really want to but it is there for that wind turbine to repair it up if it ever took damage. Dropping down here we can see some more windows which will be our little rooms inside the house. We move around here we've got ourselves a fake little air vent with a proper air vent hidden right behind it. Then we come around some white blocks, good use of the wooden texture. The wooden texture does look fantastic in that dark brownish colour like so. Looks brilliant. Yes, on this side we can see the second floor. We've got a few chairs, some solar panels, some renewable power. And we just come around to the front. It's nice and simple, but it gets a lot more complicated when we go inside, which is right now. So going through the garage, we've got ourselves our hangar doors, which will just close up, and our battered armour skin which suits it perfectly. We then come to a little dip down, which is so your vehicle doesn't roll away, or at least it helps stops it from rolling away if you are two paces in at an angle. We've got a connector there to connect ourselves up, and we've got some windows just to peer outside to make sure there's no sneaky wolves out there ready to pounce on you. We've got our basic refinery and basic assembler all connected up to this, so if you were to go out mining, you could just bring back here, connect up to that connector, and it will start creating stuff. We have a small cargo container right there just to store some extra stuff in if you needed to. And we have our button panel where number one will close this up. So going from the outside, that is basically what it looks like. And if I just very quickly, no, oh well, now I have to go around the main door. So just pretend you're not seeing any of this. Just come around to here, opening up that door, and there we go. So this is what it looks like from the inside with my light turned off. We've got plenty of light in here. If I was to change it to nighttime outside, which would be not that, we need to go darker. There we go. We've got plenty of light. Then we've got over here, which is going to be to toggle the assembler on and off, toggle our refinery on and off, and then toggle the connector. Coming up our DLC stairs, which do look fantastic, we come to our first proper room. So we've got a single door there, there's no airlocks on here. So you would, if you were on a Mars-like planet, have to close up the hangar doors first before you come through here. We've got a locker there just to put our stuff inside it if we want to, so we just put our tools in there, we've had a hard day's work. Let's just go store that in there and come over and start making our food with our kitchen block. We have a little table there so you could just like sit here while someone's preparing your food, have a little chat with them, and then you can come over to this little table which sits in the corner and eat your food. And oh boy is it dark outside. Let's bring that sun back around again. So in this room there's nothing much else, it's simply your kitchen room and your dining table. If we were to come through one of these doors, it doesn't matter which, they both go to the same place, we'll come to our recreation area where we've got our 
little sofas and our TV to watch stuff on. And we've got a lovely view of the outside little deck place where you can see people sitting there maybe having a small party without you. We've got our planters around here, we've got our freight crates which we can store some stuff in. Maybe you could use a survival mod where you add in food and water and you could put food and water in there and have it as your like emergency survival stuff. Say you've just collected a delivery and you've just stored it in your house. Just walk over to it and grab it. I can highly recommend those survival mods if you find them. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, should be fairly easy to find if you google it. But it do add an extra layer of difficulty having to make food and water. On this side we've got our DLC locker and our armory locker so like I said a long time ago or fairly recently in fact it's a shame we can't just remove our armor and dump it into this it would be quite good. Coming out of this door we come to our other side where we can get in and out so this is right next to our hangar which is coming up these stairs and that's our main entrance. We've got ourselves an LCD screen that says modern resistance 2 earth like planet and this is our deck plant is going around the outside our corner chairs it's a very snazzy place. If we come around to here, come back inside, we've got a few more rooms to go in. That door tried to murder me. So we can come back through here, and that's our way to the hangar, but we have another doorway, which we'll come over to here. We've got ourselves a little toilet to sit on if you needed to go, and then we come to your personal study. We've got ourselves a locker, which is posed, if you were to look at it in a different way, could pretend to be a bookcase. Or something like that. You've got your little desk there to do your studying. You can view at whatever you have in the distance. That is the Earth like starting base. And the pirates should be over there. Yes, we can see the pirates from right over here. There they are. And we've got ourselves a planter in here. It's a lovely little room. And then we come around back through here and we have to go upstairs to our bedrooms and stuff. So up here we've got a lovely little balcony that looks down at our living room that's the word not recreation area living room that's the word i wanted we've got our dlc windows that we can look outside and have the crazy reflections some more planters and round to here we've got another doorway that leads outside to our solar panel so if you needed to repair them say a meteor came crashing down and broke them you can repair them we've got our safety rails that go almost all the way around the outside you could if you still wanted to jump off here and break your leg Yes, we can just walk around here. We do have some chairs out here, so if you want to have a lovely little shade sitting area, you can do so. And a few oncoming drones, I say pummel your base with bullets. And this is a view from down here. We come back around and through the door. Let's go to our proper bedroom. So we've got two ways we can go, and we've got an air vent there to pump this place full of oxygen. On the right hand side, we've got a singular room. So this is for if you wanted to be all by your lonesome. You just go to sleep right here, you look out the window, look at the people having fun on the chairs. Then you've got yourselves a shower and a personal toilet to have. Turning around and coming back through to the opposite side, we then got a more communal area. We've got two beds in here. We've got some lockers, our armory lockers. We've got ourselves a little table and a chair. We've got our corner sofa to view outside. And then we've got another planter through this doorway. We've got a lovely little bathroom setup, which I do like. I like that passageway where you come in and you have two little corners. So there's our toilet and there's our shower. And that just about covers the interior and exterior of the Modern House V2. It's an absolute gorgeous design and is very different from having a standard base. Although it's not very practical in the long run in terms of actual space engine survivability and actually getting out there and building giant ships to get to another planet. It's still nice to have if you just want to kick back and relax or have a secret little hideout away from your friends where you can waste all their blocks and build this. So now it's time to finish off this video by bringing back the greatest item of all time, the warhead. And we're going to plant these warheads everywhere. So this is the Modern House V2. It'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it's an absolutely fantastic design and that explosion was way off. How on earth did that happen? The explosion should have been... Wait. Okay, yeah, they're not connected, but that doesn't make any sense, does it? The explosion should have been on the interior. <laughs> that, that looks like some kind of artsy fancy stuff going on in here. But yeah, as I was saying, it's in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.